for the first time in history, Yom Kippur coincides with another celebration. As many of you probably know, today is also National Speak Like a Pirate Day. So on this Yom Kippur, I would like ye to, all right, I could, I could continue, but uh, my wife advised me not to. We are about to hit our uh, second silent Amidah of the day, the first if you arrived as late as I did, and the third of Yom Kippur to be followed by two more later this afternoon. Um, I have to tell you that I often get lost in the silent Amidah. Um, despite 12 years of day school and a customer base that keeps my Hebrew well oiled, I, I find um, that I lose some focus. And within my Talit cave, I um, just sort of lose track. I start off pretty strong with the words that we sing all the time. And then as soon as we get to the stranger words, my mind starts to wander. Where did I park? Will I get a ticket? Probably. I may need a note. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, am I going to finish before Hillel and the davening team start singing? Probably not. What are they going to start to sing? Will it be Hanson's umbop? I doubt it. <laughs> but I know that if it is, it's going to be the most spiritual umbop I've ever heard. <laughs> And I'm probably going to be brought to tears. So, yeah, so I lose focus, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so at, at that point, I try to quickly switch over to the English, um, a language that I understand more or less, sometimes less than more, but, but more. And, um, and I try to find one paragraph that resonates, and within that paragraph, a sentence, and within that sentence, one word, because... Today, in our day of self-reflection, as we start our journey towards uh, redemption, we're going to have to take a first step, and that first step is going to start with one word. Um, so I bless us all that we can find the start with one word, and with that I say, Yamar Katimatoi. <laughs>